Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things and just let you know what's up with the jailbreak, where that stands, and just try and answer some general questions. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was my video that I posted yesterday. So here it is, and the title was New Untethered Jailbreak for 4.2.1 All Eye Devices Green Poison. So a lot of people actually got really mad and really ticked off at this title. They just kept saying that they came to this video thinking it was the jailbreak. Well, I'm going to say, sorry, it's not the jailbreak. And if you're subscribed to me, you will know that I make update videos on the news for uh, the upcoming jailbreaks. And the best part is every single one of my jailbreak videos always has how to at the beginning. So just to let you know in the future, if uh, it does not say how to jailbreak, then it's not the actual thing, okay? I'm just letting you guys know what's up and where it stands. So just, you guys might wanna keep that in mind. Unless it says how to at the very beginning of the title, it's not a jailbreak video. Again, it's not a jailbreak video. So I just want every single person to keep that in mind because I was getting some pretty annoying comments and I deleted most of them that were really ticking me off. But uh, that's the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about. The second thing is uh, a lot of you actually were asking about SHSH files. Now, it is too late to back up either 4.1 or 4.2 beta 3 SHSH files. Now, you will need 4.2 beta 3 SHSH files to jailbreak and get it untethered at this moment with Red Snow 0.9.7 beta 6. So that won't be the same with Red Snow 0.9.7 beta 6 because the dev team actually said that they're going to incorporate a way to use 4.1 SHSH files instead of 4.2 beta 3 because I am at their blog right now and if I zoom in here and I go to this last entry right here it says now that the sandbox Bluetooth and Skype issues are fixed our next priority is porting Monty back to 4.1 we'll also try to make Windows version less painfully slow so basically what that means is it's going to use your 4.1 SHSH files instead of 4.2 beta 3 SHSH files. So I'm also assuming that you will be able to use 4.2 beta 3 SHSH files, but this is really great because you don't have to have the 4.2 beta 3 firmware. You'll have to have the 4.1 firmware instead, which is really awesome. And it helps with their anti-piracy plea, which basically is just saying that unless you are an actual developer and you paid to get the 4.2 beta 3 uh, firmware then you shouldn't be using it and you shouldn't be pirating it but you will be able to use it just with your 4.1 SHSH files instead of 4.2 beta 3 SHSH files. Now, if you guys don't have your SHSH files backed up for 4.1, it is too late. I repeat, it is too late. So sorry for you guys, but you guys will be left out on the Red Snow 0.9.7 jailbreak, the untethered jailbreak. That is, you can still jailbreak and be tethered. And that's my next point. Tethered means that every time you boot up, you have to connect to your computer and rerun Red Snow in just boot tethered now mode. So that's what tethered means. Now, if you want to figure out whether or not you have your SHSH files backed up, just open up Cydia. And at the top, it will look a little something like this. It will say SHSH and it will have a colon and it will tell you what SHSH files you have backed up. For instance, in this picture, the person has 4.0.1, 4.0.2 and 4.1. Now, what you're most concerned about will be 4.1 and 4.2 beta 3. If you have either one of those backed up, it will work for a fact. Now that I've answered some of your guys' questions, I just want to say make sure you subscribe to me and I will be making a tutorial on how to jailbreak with all of these jailbreaks that are coming out in the future and for every jailbreak that comes out in the future. So just subscribe to me in order to see those videos when they're released and just be sure to comment to let me know what you guys think. This is ICU signing out.